So let's analyze a couple, couple statements involving percent. So the first off, a Seattle Times article on the high school graduation rates reported that the number of high schools graduating 60% or fewer of students in four years, sometimes referred to as dropout factory schools, uh, decreased by 17 during the, uh, a time, during the, uh, that time period. Um, the number of kids attending schools with such low graduation rates was cut in half. Now, if we ignore that last sentence and just look at this, decreased by 17 during that time period, does that number decreased by 17 give us a useful comparison? Well, not really, because we don't really know what that number is relative to. Again, if it decreased from, let's say, 20 to 3, that's great. If it decreased from, say, 217 to 200, eh, that's not so great, right? And so without some uh, base to compare it to, uh, decreasing by 17 is a pretty useless comparison. So now we can add in this last sentence, which says the number of kids attending schools with such low graduation rates was cut in half. So now that provides us a little more information that sort of suggests a possible base. So does that mean that we can conclude that the number of dropout factories was originally 34? Because if we cut in half and we decreased by 17, does that mean we were originally 34? Well, not necessarily. Um, the problem here is that uh, a lot of other things could have happened. The kids, uh, there's a lot of ways that kids at attending schools could get decreased without them actually, the school improving. For example, the students could move schools, um, or schools could get shut down. There's a lot of other things that could happen other than uh, the school actually improving. And so, so this is, this is probably pretty close. But uh, we certainly don't know that this is actually accurate. Um, there's a lot of information still missing here. Okay, let's look at another case. In the 2004 vice presidential debates, Edwards claimed that the U.S. forces had suffered 90% of the coalition casualties in Iraq. Uh, Cheney disputed this, saying that, in fact, Iraqi security forces and coalition allies had taken almost 50% of the casualties. Uh, who's right? Well, without more information, it's kind of hard to judge who's correct. But one thing we can tell is that these aren't comparable. Uh, they're not comparable because they're talking about different things. And more or less importantly, they have different bases. For Edwards' claim, the base is coalition casu casualties, uh, which uh, when they're talking about the coalition casualties, they're not including the Iraqi security forces. Whereas if you look at Cheney's statement, uh, the, uh, he is including Iraqi security forces, and so he's talking about a different base. Um, now, it turns out that both of these statistics are actually pretty close to accurate, um, but it's really hard to evaluate them, uh, you know, in the context of a debate, um, because they're talking about different things. And so to try to use one of these uh, statistics to dispute the other is really not appropriate because they're not talking about the same thing. Thank <laughs> you.